video, we're going to be adding pages and blocks to our project using Softer Studio. Currently, we only have one page, our home page. Let's start there by adding our first block, a header block. We'll select this simple header with hamburger menu and add it to the page. If we click into the block, now we can customize it. For now, we're going to get rid of the placeholder because we don't have a Fitbooks logo yet. So we can just X that out. And we're going to adjust the padding at the top and bottom to give the header a bit more height. Perfect. We're also going to change and edit these links that will appear in the menu. We will need links for our home page, library page, and sign in pages. And we can delete this fourth link because we'll only need these three. We can leave the actions of these three links blank for now because we haven't built those other pages yet. And we don't need to show our user profile information on this home page in the header yet either. So great, our header is ready to go. For our next block, we're going to add a call to action or CTA block. And we'll do this call to action with a button. So if we click in, as you can see, our theme, our font, and the button color and button text color has already been added as we add that block in. So that's why it's really convenient to build those themes out at the beginning before you start your project, because then you won't have to update each block as you go, unless you want to customize the block to be different than the default that you've already set in your theme. We can edit our title. and we can update our background image. And we'll just want to edit the title and subtitle color now that our background image is in there. And we will change these to white. And our button, we are going to edit the text to get started for free. And again, we can leave this action blank for now because we don't have another page to send that link to. So we would be able to open the page, scroll to a section of this page, or open an external URL. But as you can see, we only have our home page here as another option, and we don't need to redirect back to this page. So we'll leave that blank for now. And next, we want to show a sample of the types of books that we recommend in the Fitbooks Book Club. So we're going to add a gallery block. And we will pick gallery with scrolling images here. Perfect. So again, we can edit our title and subtitle. And we can add our images that we want to be displayed in the gallery. We could also add more images, but we'll just stick with four for now. And we'll change the current stock images to be our book covers. Perfect. So now that we've updated our gallery to show a few examples of the types of books that are in our collections, the last block that we're going to add is a simple footer block. So we'll click the plus sign again and we will look for the footer block and we'll just add this footer with links and secondary footer here. 
For now, we will again remove the placeholder as we don't currently have a logo. And we won't update any of these links because we're not going to build out these pages at this time, just for the purpose of this tutorial. But it's a great start and a simple layout for the footer of our homepage that we could link things to and update as needed afterwards. Great, now that our homepage layout is ready, let's add our other pages. We'll click on pages and then new page down here at the bottom. Our page name here will be library and we'll click save. And then we'll do the same to create our sign in and sign up pages as well. Awesome, now we have all of the pages that we'll need. And in the next video, we will look at connecting our library to our Airtable database of book titles and how to protect the library so that users will need to create an account to access it.